Thailand is famous for many things. It's friendly people, beautiful beaches, and most of all, it's temples. Predominantly a Buddhist nation, Thailand's Buddhist temples are favorite places for visitors to experience and take pictures. Once you spend more time in Thailand, you'll realize that these temples are much more than a religious function. For many small towns, these large temples actually serve as cultural hubs or places for business. One of the many favorite large gatherings of people at a temple is when a man decides to live a monastic life and says goodbye to the life he once knew. When this occurs, a huge party is thrown for the young man who's decided to become a monk. It's a huge event starting with the soon-to-be monk's family towing him on a huge truck by hand to the temple. On the truck is a band of local musicians and anyone else in the village who owns or can borrow a musical instrument. The ceremony begins with the family circling around the temple three times. Meanwhile, the entire village cheers on. On the third pass, the young man enters the temple, only to leave later as a monk. The temples and monasteries of Thailand are a sight to see. They're also challenging to maintain. One thing that all temples have in common is a steeply pitched roof that is at least 30 to 40 feet off the ground. Temples and monasteries in Thailand come in all shapes ranging from cathedral-like crematoriums, exotic archways, and some that even look like palaces. Normally a monk, usually the lightest monk, and often the most recent initiate, has to climb a rickety ladder, often made of bamboo poles held together by some combination of nails, screws, and pieces of inner tube. While there are no official statistics kept of the numbers of injuries and fatalities each year from roof inspections, every temple has at least one story of an accident. It was just recently that Eric Hanscom, an intellectual property lawyer from San Diego, California, was on holiday with his wife Intian visiting her family in Thailand. While at Intian's father's farm, Eric was out gathering aerial footage one day with his Phantom 2 Vision Plus when he was asked if he could shoot the rooftop of their father's house to look for cracks. It was quite easy to drop the drone down to a few feet off the rooftop and pan back and forth looking for cracked tiles. Over the next two days, Eric and his wife Intian, who is also his spotter, flew 12 batteries worth of roof inspections and presented the monks with both the raw video and edited screen captures showing which roofs needed repair and where the repairs were needed. It was amazing what the drone footage had revealed. Broken and cracked roof tiles, gaps and openings where birds and snakes had moved in. There were even plants growing out of the side of temples in addition to some damaged cement work on a crematorium smokestack. The monks were delighted, especially the skinny monks and most recent initiates. After all, it is the recent initiates and the skinnier of monks that have to do the roof inspections. And they've already been putting the word out to other temples asking if Eric and Intian would be able to inspect those temples during their next trip to Thailand. That's what you call the latter side of drones, where technical innovation has replaced a dangerous situation. Out of compassion, we work together in a global community. Hello.